trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv everybody it's Paul Mash TV time again thank you so much for joining us we got another great interview coming up for you in just a moment but don't forget about that subscribe button and the bell down there because anytime you do you're always going to be notified of the latest interviews whenever they become available and leave a comment on the comment section if you like we'd love to hear from you there and we're on Facebook too that's facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV if you're afraid to follow us there comment on the things you see even send us an inbox and when we, we have email too, of course, it's palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or a solo artist that wants to uh, be on the show, uh, just email us and we'll show you how to do that. And we love uh, fan mail as well, so if you're just simply a fan, send a, le a letter to us at that same email address and we'll talk to you there. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Adelaide, Australia, we have uh, Christine Clifford and... Uh, very awesome country artist, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. And uh, so let's waste no more time, and let's start the interview, which starts right now. Okay, here's the interview as promised, and with us from Adelaide, Australia, we have uh, Christine Clifford with us today. Thanks for joining us, Christine. Hey, Paul. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? <laughs> oh, pretty good. Yeah, nice and cold over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Well, how did it all begin for you? I mean, I, I know a lot of people uh, grew up with music, or and or maybe you just fell into it later. Uh, I mean, there's every, all kinds of different stories about that. Tell us your story and how you decided you wanted to be an artist. Okay. Um, well, it's been a, been a while now, but uh, I started off, you know, the, the normal learning to play piano, teaching myself guitar, all that sort of wonderful stuff. Um, then I didn't, you know, when I was 16, my... Uh, my intuition around um, around music sort of changed to boys. So I gave music up for a while and I didn't take it up again until I was about 28. Mm -hmm. And I started in musical theatre, um, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and then decided to pick up the guitar again, start writing some stuff. And uh, well, it's, it's gone from there. So, uh, yeah. Um, did, did a few talent quests, as you do, um, in my later age. And, uh, yeah, I've, ju I've just gone from there. This is, my, this is my third album that I'm releasing at the moment. Wow. So my first, yeah, yeah, my first one was um, back in 1996. Uh, then I did um, Times Were Different then in 2004, and now this one. So okay. so a, a few years between, <laughs> between drinks, really. <laughs> Okay. Well, well, obviously you're good at what you do, and I hope you'll have a few years left in you as far as being an artist goes. So, uh, well, I hope so too. But uh, yeah, um, look, you know, people are still rocking out at the age of uh, you know 80, 90 years old still. So why not? <laughs> why not? Well, that's true. Uh, well, what were some of the artists that you enjoyed listening to when you were growing up that have motivated you to be the artist you are now? Okay, so some of my influences definitely um, the Seekers. Um, I don't know whether you would probably remember the Seekers from, from Australia. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep, yep. Judith Durham, uh, beautiful four-piece, beautiful harmonies, um, acoustic uh, music. They were just superb. So uh, they're probably one of my biggest influences. Um, and from there, more musical theatre, I, I suppose, uh, and just learning um, stage craft and things like that and then because um, I'd, I'd go to every musical I could possibly go to any shows that were on I'd go um, I haven't been to one for a while yet lately but uh, I should think about that um, but then um, in later later times uh, some of our you know country music artists uh, like Reba McIntyre Trisha Yearwood I'm a huge fan of Trisha's just a beautiful voice and it's just so just so smooth and uh, um so I try to base my sort of uh my vocal around that type of um that type of vocal if you know what I mean so I like nice smooth deep mellow type type vocal sounds so 
that's uh, they're, they're my main influences. And then we've got uh, a couple of artists over here called Becky Cole. Mm. Um, she uh, and uh, Gina Jeffries. They're a couple that were quite uh, influential when I got got into the country music scene. Um, and uh, yeah, from there I've just continued on. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, you mentioned Reba. I mean, you know, she's a legend in her own right, so I can understand absolutely why you said that. And yeah, the Seekers, you know, they had that song "Georgia Girl." That's uh, I remember that from years ago. And, and yep, just too bad that Judith, uh, the the lady you were speaking of, she passed away recently, and uh, yeah. that, that was really sad. But um, but yeah, a great band though. Um, um, well, people might want to, after watching this, they might want to download your music or follow you on social media. How would they go about doing that? Okay, so um, you, you can always send me a, uh, a message through Facebook, uh, you know, uh, Christine Clifford Music on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, I've also got a website, uh, christineclifford.music.com, um, and Spotify, YouTube Music, uh, Apple Music, iTunes. Um, all of all of the above so uh yeah stream away buy my album which would be great <laughs> um so so some of the songs on on the actual the new album um are probably from my influences as well uh i've got a bob seger song on there that i've i've uh i've uh, popped on there which um one of our fantastic artists over here who's recently passed away too john english did a version of and became a number one hit over here um called turn the page uh and uh yeah i i've always loved that song so i thought i'll pop that on my album so if anyone wants to have a look at my album there's a lot of uh a lot of different songs on there not it's not just all basic country it's uh you know really quite contemporary mm. so Okay, well, you heard Christine. Go to those streaming sites she mentioned and also follow her on those Facebook pages as she mentioned and go to her official website as well. And uh, well, like I said, I know she would fall in love with you for that. So uh, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so uh, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about this song here that we're about to watch. Uh, she's playing with fire. It's all self-explanatory, but uh, tell us a little story about that. Okay, a little story about that. It, it's probably your, your, your typical infidelity song. Um, however, um, it, it is based around uh, someone I know and at the time. So uh, it is self-explanatory. I probably don't have to say too much, but but the lyrics are, are very, uh, very true to uh, how that person was talking to me about the, the um, situation that she was in. So, yeah, it's very, very true to, to her situation. And when I, I brought the song out, she rang me and said, is that song about me? <laughs> and I said, well, it might have something to do with what we talked about a few months back. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. It, uh, and that's how we write songs, you know, through life experiences and, and, and people's stories. So. Okay. Well, I know everybody out there will love it. And we'll get to that in just a second. But, uh, Christine, we thank you so much for being on the show today. Uh, we hope you'll come back and plug something new for us one day. <laughs> oh, absolutely! I might pop in with with a uh, with a guitar and a song, and uh, if you like, one day and uh, go from there. Okay. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, here, okay. here it is. She's playing with fire by Christine uh, Clifford, and it starts right now. Right, but nobody knows But it's painful It's passionate It's madness It doesn't make sense But she can't say no She feels so alive Oh 
but there's nobody home cause she's needed. She's wanted, she's beautiful. Go for the way this road leads. Cause right now it's feeling a need. It's incredible, it's magical, it's a fantasy. Shouting, there's gonna be fear. They're gonna be broken. Or oh, love to be broken. She's playing with fire.